Hello everyone, this is Technoblog. My name is Maurice John. This is Jibel Wilkins. And we are back with another episode of Technoblog. Alright, what are we talking about today? Alright, so today we're going to talk about CS 2017. And what is CS? You may ask. CS is the Consumer Electronics Show. It's probably the biggest technology show for consumers. Mm -hmm. But mind you, these products or items you see at these shows don't really come out to the consumer until like probably four years down the line. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you have you have those mm -hmm. concepts. So yeah. you have um, companies who will say, okay, uh, let me try to invigorate my consumer base and show them what we're planning to do a few years down the road. Yeah. Um, so you have all of these crazy concepts right. and then you have the short term, okay, release next next week, release two months from now concepts. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it's it's a good way to see what the future holds for consumers. Yes. So it tells you that where companies are pushing their products to. All right. Okay. So first thing I want to talk to you about is what stood out for me. What stood out for you? Uh, uh, what stood out for me was really about three three items also. Number one was the sheer amount of connected devices that was introduced at this year's CES. When I say connected, I'm talking about Internet of Things, you might hear IoT, and also how they integrated Alexa, ah, which is a Amazon home, that. Yeah, <laughs> which is an Amazon connected home voice AI. It's everything. It's, it's, it's everything. It's everything. Right, right now, Amazon mm -hmm. is winning in such a big way. Yeah. Um, and they're doing it in such a sneaky, sneaky way. Amazon is a is an online storefront. They are not right. able to sell products, mm -hmm. but over time, Amazon has been introducing in the background their own brand of products. Mm -hmm. So if they realize clothes is doing well, a specific type of clothes, they bring out a brand that is specific to that clothes. Mm -hmm. When they realize that tablets were doing well, they brought out their own tablets. Yeah, if I... Then they realize that AI yeah. is a big thing. Yeah. They brought out Alexa, right. and now for Amazon, there is no real allegiance really. Their allegiance is, how do I sell more stuff? Mm -hmm. So, there is no Google Pride, there's no Apple Pride, there's no Microsoft Pride. There's just, put my stuff on your, 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 your products, mm -hmm. and we're good. Yeah. So, you see Alexa in everything. Everything. Everything this year. Everything. A lot of people prior to the CS was talking about, well, if you're talking AI, you hear about Siri, you hear about Google Now, you hear about Cortana. And... All of a sudden, it's Alexa, 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 Alexa. Like, where did Alexa come from? For this year, Alexa is now into fridge, stove, everything. Home appliances, Alexa is there. Yeah. And I know the big play, especially for the fridge. If you have a milk that is in your fridge and it's running out, yeah. you could just... Tell Alexa, hey, order some milk. Buy me more fridge. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's the perfect combination of artificial intelligence and the home because you can get your, your your recipes right there you can reorder stuff right there you can monitor your fridge environment right from your door panel yeah yeah definitely uh, what else stood out to me to well one of the big highlight for me was the razor blade laptop uh, project valerie this is amazing have you seen it i have seen it the tree yeah. screen the tree screen laptop it's a 17 inch laptop with a very thick screen. Yeah. And when you find out why the screen is so thick, it's totally amazing. Yeah. So, f unfortunately, they actually stole two of those <laughs> yeah. concepts. Yeah. That's so, right. right now, there's a bounty out there who stole the people them tablets, <laughs> the people them laptops. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a concept. It's not a consumer product, mm -hmm. but Razer has been known for pushing the boundaries on what is expected from a laptop. Right. So, a gaming laptop, they say, okay, a gaming laptop should be big and ugly. So mm -hmm. there are some sweet looking laptops that look kind of like the MacBooks, but with a nice matte black finish. Right. So I guess they came this year to just totally dominate the market and say, okay, what is it next for gaming? Three screens. Three screens. Right. Three screens. What is better than one? Mm -hmm. Three screens. Yeah. So yeah. what else? What else stood out for you? And, um, oh, the LG wallpaper TV. You know, oh yes! This is a really, it's innovative for TVs. For one, yes, it's like sticking a wallpaper. Yes, 
on the, the surface. Oh my gosh, the TV is so thin. It's really thin. It's magnets they use it. So the TV actually bends. Yeah. And you could just slap it on your, your wall with some magnets and it stays. Yeah. That is that, that's pretty that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty yeah. cool. That's and pretty you cool. may wonder how it gets its power. Yeah. That that's that's even fascinating as well. It uses an invisible strip. Yeah, yes. A thin thin piece of wire that goes, you know, down and connect to mm-hmm. I don't know why it's connected to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so some yeah, crazy stuff happened in T V in laptops. Um and in other internet. But you know what stood out to me? Don't tell me. Um, I was of all of those things. What stood out to me was basically Microsoft being excited again. Mm-hmm. Um, you have so many products and so many laptops coming out in CS, and there was a general buzz around these, these, these laptops. Um, Windows 8 was supposed to be their big entrance into touch, utter failure. Yeah. People were unexcited, people were not upgrading to tablets anymore. But I think Windows 10 has solved a lot of solved a lot of problems. For one, the UI is much more familiar. Yeah. It is not forcing you to use touch. Right. It is inviting you to use mm-hmm. touch. So there's not a you know, when you boot up your computer, you see just this touch interface. Mm-hmm. It is if you want to use touch, there's an option. Mm-hmm. So the two-in-one system now becomes very much more useful. Yeah. Yeah. So that that stood out to me. As long as you can create an environment of excitement, you're on the right track for progress in your ecosystem. So that's for me is my what stand out. There are more, but we'll talk about them as time goes. Let's time talk goes. about them. Yeah. Don't, don't forget we're on a five minute budget. We're on a five minute budget, <laughs> so we can't go too deep into these things. All right. Yeah, what? So we'll separate them out into individual projects, mm-hmm. um, and then we'll we'll do some loves on them. Definitely, we'll drop a love. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So that is the video. That's it. That is the video right there, folks. Yeah. Um, so, this is Ben Wilkins, Maurice John, and thanks for watching. Techno blob. All right. I guess that's all we could do today. Yeah.